In this lesson, we're going to look at the Page Setup window. Now to bring the Page Setup window, you can go up to the Layout menu and you can come down and click on Page Setup or type in the shortcut. Alternatively, when you're in Object Mode and there's nothing selected, you'll see in the second row of tools some Page Options. And one of those, this one here, is Page Setup. I click on that and the window pops up. Now on the left hand side here I have a preview of our current page as you can see. And I also see its size and its current orientation, which is landscape. Over here I have some size options and I have some other options. Here I have master page and background options. I'll get to these later. Right now we're interested in the actual sizes we can set this to. So if I go to American Page Sizes and I click on this drop down, I get some options here. Now I might scroll down and say make this uh, legal. OK, and you'll see 14 inches by 8.5 inches. Now, if I set this to say 11 inches, in other words, I set it numerically and press Enter, you can see the program automatically sees this as letter and sets it as letter. I can then resize it and uh, change the uh, orientation to landscape. So in here, I can easily select any size I want and set it like that. And as you can see, it shows you the preview of the job as it will be once you click Accept. Now we'll just set that back to uh, letter size and back to landscape as we were. Now down in these options here, I can give the, uh, the page a name. I could call it sample, for example. And when I click accept, that will change the name of the page in the object manager and the property inspector to sample, and that will be the name of the page. I can also set a bleed, which is the amount the program will print over the uh, page size, and it will also show me these other sizes in metric and uh, inches, feet and yards. I can turn the page border on or off, as you can see, and I can set this as a master page. Now master pages have their own lesson which you can look at later. If I go to the uh, page background again, master pages you can come back to, but what we are interested in here is the fill style. Now I can give this a, uh, a solid background colour, so I can click on this drop down and give it a default colour, or if I want to get a little bit, uh, uh, or change the colour more specifically, I can bring up the colour selector and I can you know, edit the colour and decide that that's the, the page background colour I want. And I can click apply and I can also select a uh, spot colour where I can go select here and I can bring up the spot colours here. So I could change it to a particular spot colour or a PMS colour or whatever I wanted. And as you can see you can do that. I can also set it as gradient colour. If I click on this button here the gradient fill editor comes up and I can select a gradient fill. I can go in here and edit it and do whatever I want to do. I click accept and it applies the gradient fill as the background. Another thing I can do, whoop, I can click on this drop down and go to image. And by image I can select any of my standard textures, like this one here. And if I want that to be throughout the entire page I check tiled here and you can see the perimeter of the uh, tile and where its location is and I can change its size. I can make it bigger, I can make it to the width, to the height and I can choose any tile or um, uh, you know, texture that I want to from my default textures list. I can also set my own image. For example, if I go load image and I want to say set it to this duck here and click open, I can then come up here and go duck and there it is. It's, it's applied that to the background. And if I click auto size, what that will do is it'll take the size of the actual image I've got and fit the page to that size. So I click auto size and you can see that this particular image rendered at uh, that DPI is 12.5 inches by 9.375 inches. So that's how I can apply different backgrounds to my particular page. So I can set my size, I can set some options here, and I can set my background colours or images, gradient fills, so on and so forth. When I'm happy with what I've got, I can just click accept, and as you can see, whatever I've set in the uh, page setup window is applied to my current page. And that's the end of this lesson.